Hello guys and this is the 8th video of the UDK Advanced series and in this video I want to go a little more in depth into lighting and by doing that I'm going to make show you how to make your own flashlights and as you can see here I've got like a little uh, room, it's got no lights in it uh, at all I've made it that way just so you can see the full effectiveness of a flashlight because when I go ahead and press play when there's no lighting you're going to need something to fix that you can see I've got like a little material there that is not a light that is just the material on how bright it is okay so to start off uh, making a flashlight we're gonna need something to move around so what we're gonna do is go to our content browser and go to actor classes and we're gonna go for a spotlight movable uh, we wouldn't use toggleable or dominant spotlight or normal spotlight we need a movable one so it's dynamic and we can use it for this purpose so I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it into the game and I'm gonna pull it up slightly okay so we got our point light now Let's drag that up a little bit more so when you attach an actor to something like a player you wanna make sure it's in the right place in coordination with the player spawn so I'm gonna delete this one and I'm going to go back to my point light and put one right underneath it so add actor and then play a start I'm going to pull this up slightly and then I'm going to match it up on my view up here so I'm just going to drag it up a bit and there we go I reckon that's about right so if I just go press play I'm going to make sure my point light is working so rather I'm stuck in the roof so if I go ahead and play uh, okay yeah it's working fine okay so now we need to do some kismet work to attach it to your player so open up kismet and we want to go get a player spawned event so event player and then player spawned and then we want to hook up a an attached to actor event uh, action sorry let's go to action actor attached to actor and then you can see here we've got target and attachment the target is the thing it's going to attach it to and the attachment is the object variable that we're going to set to attach to the target so I'm going to hook up out of player spawned into in and then target we're going to want to make a new variable and then a player and we're just going to set that as target and now we're going to need to select our point light and we're going to right click and make an object variable and set that into attachment so that's like all there is for a uh, light sorry and if I go run around you can see it's pointing down on the ground and it's not working effectively so as you can see on the player star it's got like a little direction line here okay, let's just move that away quickly so you can see which way it's pointing and I'm going to move this down a little bit along with the light. But yeah, as you can see the player star is pointing towards this direction so you want to do the same with the point, uh, uh, yeah, spotlight that you've made. So I'm just going to tilt that and turn it to the same way that my player star is going. So if I go ahead and play now when I, when I move around the point light is working perfectly fine there is an alternative to doing it in Kismet and it's a much better option because with this point light it doesn't move up and down but it only goes uh, left and right unless you use the fly console command which I'll show you now and now if you do that you can make the light go all around you so yeah really what you want to do is basically do it all Kis uh, Unreal script side rather than Kismet. Kismet is good but it doesn't do everything you want to do so yeah you can change a couple of things around on that spotlight like the angle at which it uses so if you right click on the spotlight we've got and then under properties under spotlight component we've got our outer cone angle and inner cone you don't really want to worry about inner cone you just want to change your outer cone so if you change the outer cone to something smaller so let's say I'm you're not going to change this to 15 and you'll see it's somewhat smaller and it'll be more as if you got like a nice weak spotlight okay 
So if we look around, we got a little spotlight, but that isn't too effective, and we can't see too much. So I'm gonna change that to something around 22 even, and that should look a little bit more realistic. Uh, there we go. That's more of a decent spotlight now. Okay, you can change the color and brightness around. So I'm just gonna change this to something somewhat red. And I'm going to set the brightness to 2. Whenever you're using with movable things, you want to make sure it's dynamic. That set as default as it's a movable object. So if we go in the game now and move around, we've got like a nice ready, I don't know, zombie or blood effect for a point light, uh, spotlight, sorry. So I run up to this. It won't change the material on this object here. But I'm just going to go ahead and build lighting and you'll see there isn't much difference because it's dynamic light and you won't need to build lighting. The only lighting differences will be from the walls if I've somewhat moved those around or anything like that. I'm sorry building lighting takes so long for me because uh, I'm using like, multiple screens at the moment. It takes up a fair bit of uh, memory so let's go ahead and play again. And that's looking perfectly fine. So thanks for watching, comment, like and subscribe and sometime later today I'm going to be doing an interview with the CEO of Panzer Games while playing his game Left the Rot which comes out sometime in August. So thanks for watching and goodbye.